Ladies and gentlemen, about 200 hours ago, I put us on Tropical Storm Watch. And, and would you look at that? We now have Tropical Storm Arlene. But she seems nice and friendly and a bit French. So I'm going to call her Darlene. Get it? All right. Well, right now, looks like this thing is a monster, but staying out to sea and the atmospheric defense team is showing off in the early season. I'm over here just weather watching, and I might be a little bit more laid back than usual. I took a swim for about an hour, and the new apartment complex that I moved into is pool for the first time. Then I threw like 25 medium passes with the regulation size football, and my right arm is tired. And it's so tired, I now get that joke comedians say like, hey, I just flew in, and boy, my arms are tired. And they say the VIX stock market thingy is down 20%, and that seems like an effect of Jupiter and Taurus as the debt ceiling crisis has been averted. One less thing to worry about, you know what I'm saying? But if you did have shit to worry about, if you're up here, or possibly over here, over here, I would definitely, maybe even up in here, I would stay and maybe a little down there. I'd still weather woke. Don't let it ruin your weekend, though. Do you hear me, Jethro? My buddy? No. Yeah, this is quite a situation. There's a lot of wind shear tearing it to shreds. But it does seem the watery part and the low part are separated. But who knows what's going to happen? It should be crazy. You know what I'm saying? How are you? I hope you're hanging in there. Um, it's been a crazy first five months of the year, wouldn't you say? So, yeah, the basis of the video is like you got flash flood watches in these states over here. And these are multiple states where that shit is happening. All these with the green. And then the yellow's like, hey, man, some of these storms may be severe. And Tornado and E and Haley. And over here you get the um, fog vampires, the grayest fog. Sometimes people say you in really deep, dense fog, you can get like Sasquatches or vampires. But that's probably not true. Maybe not. Maybe metaphorically. <gasps> okay. And the fog is even seeping into the crevices. Um, I hope everybody's going to have an excellent, super-duper magic summer. Like, maybe we could all have the best summer we've had in years. That is still totally possible. Wall Street enjoyed Donut Day today, for sure. And I think a lot of people did. I love donuts. Donuts are great. But I'm sure there's a few handful of people out there like, Donuts are evil. Yeah. All right. Beetlejuice. Is almost 50% brighter than normal. What's up with that? I mean, what is up with that? A star. 50% brighter than normal. You know, imagine if the sun got 50% brighter than normal all the time, or most of the time, or a lot of the time. That'd be crazy. All right, so we're keeping an eye on things. We're staying cool. We're avoiding World War III. And we are counting down to Olivia Rodrigo new music. And all I gotta say is, I just hope it's better than Thor Love and Thunder. They say the thermosphere is heating up. And here we look at Aurora and Steve. They say a whole lot of stuff all the time. Brian Stetler saying, hey, in a reversal of its election integrity policy, YouTube will leave up content that says fraud errors or glitches but just occurred in the 2020 presidential election and other U.S. elections. Man, my YouTube's been acting funky lately. YouTube's a strange place, but I made like 5,000 videos here. I've only been suspended a couple of times. <laughs> oh, yeah, Thor News is for winners. Things are strange and... If you can keep your sense of humor and your optimism alive, this thing we call life, you are a winner. Jimmy Carter wins a boxing match against Jake Paul and Bitcoin. Wait, what? Pluto will be retrograding back into Capricorn. 
on June 11th. Venus will go into Leo on the 5th. And we got a Sagittarius full moon uh, tomorrow. So, even updated. Stay cool. Talk to you soon. God bless everyone.